Students will be able to trace the routes of early explorers and describe the early exploration of the Americas. Students will be able to identify where certain countries explored on the Americas and if some of the claimed land had been previously explored. They will learn how explorers navigated with tools such as compasses, sexton, and maps. The instructor can teach the students about early explorers like Christopher Columbus, Francisco Vasquez de Coronado, and other explorers. They can read passages from ship's logs about what the explorers were going through during their time of travel. Also, the students will learn how and why the explorers were exploring for their countries. The students will expand their vocabulary by learning about the technological advances that made sea exploration possible with words like compass, sexton, astrolabe, seaworthy ships, chronometers, and gunpowder. The instructor could bring in a compass and sexton to allow students to visually see and physically touch the tools and see how they work. A good example and question an instructor could ask is, point in the direction north or south, east, and west. The students can use their spatial reasoning to try and figure out which way they are pointing. The instructor can use the compass and show the students which way they are actually facing. The sexton can be used in class to, for students to see, but a video would be best for a sexton to teach students about using stars to find their headings. The students will be able to distinguish geographical locations by looking at maps and or globes and seeing where explorers started their voyage to discover the Americas. They can see the distance traveled by wooden ships across the oceans. They will be able to identify land claimed in North and South America by Spain, France, England, Portugal, the Netherlands, Sweden, and Russia. Students will also be able to trace the routes that explorers took on land and where they claimed their land for their crown. Students will be able to construct paths to and from school, identifying key navigational markers to navigate their routes with accurate readings like turn at the phone booth, east, west, or north and south, 30 steps, and so on. The instructor could use many different activities to teach students about navigation and exploration. They can follow directions on handwritten maps, then follow it and go so many paces, then turn the appropriate direction to get to their destination. Once they get to their destination, they can see, explore and come back to class and share with the class what they explored.